Hey, I got a very special guest with me in the studio, and he flew over here just to hang out at the station, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely, it's always a pleasure to have uh, good folks coming by, and of course, uh, you know, showcasing people's talents and music and stuff like that. And that's what we like to do around here, man. So without any further, you know, adieu, as they say, I got to uh, give a big welcome to my man, Jason Jett. What's uh -huh. going on, homeboy? Man, I'm doing great, man. How are you feeling? Hey, I'm doing wonderful, man. You know, Let's blessed go. and just doing what we got to do, man. Hey. You know? Let's go. Hey, indeed, <laughs> man. Uh, good to have you here. And uh, now, incidentally, this is your first time in Bermuda. Yes, it is. You know? Uh, oh, my gosh. We, we were talking just before coming on the air about first impressions and things like that. Mm -hmm. And we got to welcome your, your lovely lady uh, oh, man. along with you. Uh, <laughs> let me make sure I get it right again. Come on, you got the, it. Asia. Oh, man, you're winning. You're winning. I got it. You, you got it. You are winning. Two times in a row. <laughs> <That'll be so laughs> but I got to welcome both of you guys down. It's Thank a real you. pleasure to have you here. Absolutely. Um, again, your first time here. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Our first impressions again. Oh, my gosh. We love it. Like yeah. the, the weather, the scenery, the, the people like that. You know, we're, we're from America. And yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Everybody's not as friendly as they are here, so yeah, it's, it's yeah. just like we feel. I feel love. I feel like this is this is home now. Let's go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> when I said you're a resident now, you know what I mean. I'm with it. So that's definitely a good thing, you know. And and again, welcome. Um, you. you know, uh, we were talking about the music scene a little earlier and and things that got you started because we're going to showcase you know a couple of your songs while you're here. But um, you know some some of your inspirations, you know, in, in, in getting rolling in the industry and in the on the music scene. Yeah. So I mean, I grew up uh, in the church playing. My dad's a, a musician, a producer. Mm -hmm. He's been producing all his life. He's got like seven or eight albums. Wow. And, uh, okay. My okay. mom's a writer, so you know, just being around that it's that like energy. The best of both worlds. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that that is good inspiration because, like you said, with your dad being a musician and your mom a writer, so you you get you know. Uh, both branches off, I guess, as they say, off each tree, you know, combined, yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know, and and your your material, your writing, yeah. and, and all of that yourself. Yeah, exactly. I've been uh, mm -hmm. producing since the age of uh, ten. Wow. So yeah, about twenty years now. Okay. I just turned thirty last you got, week. So. You got that experience <laughs> under your belt. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I got a little sound, but I'm always learning, always trying to evolve my sound. And, yeah, uh, but that's an ongoing so, thing, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. an ongoing thing, and you know, we, you know, they all say you're your own worst critic type of thing. Yeah, so I'm telling. You. We always look <laughs> for our own flaws, but you know, um, what what what's it been like? I mean, um, like. As far as growing up, like some of your favorite artists, listening to um, yeah. uh, artists that may have inspired you over the years. Oh man, I, I grew up listening to a lot of Michael Jackson. Okay, um, okay. What's funny is I didn't really grow up on a lot of urban music. Mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't get the privilege to watch a lot of classic black movies like yeah. Boys in the Hood and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levy, but okay. um, I grew up listening to a lot of rock music. Okay, uh, like Sting, The Police. I know what that's like. I when I when I lived out in Ohio, we were talking earlier, man. When mm -hmm. I lived in Cincinnati, that's. What I, you know, well, a lot of the people around me listen to that. Oh, yeah. Rush and Black Sabbath. Exactly, I'm telling you. All these Jimmy Hendrix, yeah, and Prince, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it, it took my sound to a different place. So, you yeah, know, I'm grateful yeah, for, for yeah. that. Because, well, again, you, you get to add a whole different flavor, add your flavor to, to that. Like, yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? And, you know, that creates a unique sound, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, definitely not. Now, places, uh, have you had a chance to perform anywhere? Anything like oh, that? Oh, my gosh. Or yeah, absolutely. Okay. We've done we've done shows in New York at the okay. Apollo. Everywhere's been okay. in the states. So, okay. Okay. Um, okay. I've opened up for Anthony Hamilton. Okay. Uh, Dwelle, Eric Roberson. Okay. Uh, I mean Sunshine Anderson. I don't know if you know DJ Knife Wonder. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. a man. So you know, right. we've had the privilege to do some some really really amazing shows uh, with my band and all. So hey, that's terrific. Uh, and I mean, again, you know, more great experience to have. You know, as they say, under your belt. You know, yeah. and and I mean, that's that's a lot you've achieved. You know, in, in this blessing. time frame. You know, yeah, it's a blessing for yeah. sure. Um, how how many? Uh, I know um, when we come to uh, producing and things of that nature, like uh, how many songs would you say you have? Uh... <laughs> yeah. We. I'd probably. We weren't expecting that one, was no, you? No, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I say I'll probably in my lifetime I probably have created at least. Over 600, wow. 700 songs. Wow. Instrumentals, at least. That's mm -hmm. dedication. Man, yeah. That's definite dedication. Man. And I know it is up like them late nights and in Dude, the those, studio. Those are the best ones, though. Yeah, in the studio <laughs> all night. <laughs> all night. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely. Um, 
We we have this brand new uh, brand new album here, a CD here, uh, The mm -hmm. Great Escape. Tell us a bit about it. Oh man, so this this is actually is a EP I created this year because, you know, I I think I was going through some things as a man the last few years that kind of helped me evolve. I think most mm -hmm. men kind of agree that you don't really start becoming who you are until you're you know in your latter 20s, yeah, yeah. Uh, you start to wake up, right? And so yeah. The Great Escape was, the concept was of me waking up as a man, the, the beginning story, part of the story to that. So there are gonna be more Great Escapes okay. uh, to follow, but um, okay. this is the first one that kind of sets up basically my self-realization, my mm -hmm. journey, all that fun stuff, so. Okay. Mm. Now, now, now um, you know, just so we put it out there early for, for the folks that love to follow you, like, uh, you know, everybody's on the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. You know, how can they follow Jason? Oh, man, so <laughs> Instagram is at Jason Jet. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at Jason Jet, uh, and that's Jet with one T. And my yeah. website is jasonjetmusic.com. So I actually have uh, my new music video up as well. We just uh, released Up All Night. Okay. Uh, last okay. week it was shot by... Uh, Video director named uh, Jacob and, and mm. Eve Sims. These guys are awesome. They killed it. It's a skating rink, a funky feel good song. To, I think it's a song you probably gonna play up all night. But yeah. I like man, they definitely and, and I'm loving the cover and everything and yeah, you know all the you. graphics and everything. Thank you, thank uh, done great, you know, uh, catches people's eyes and stuff like that, which is what you want. Yeah, and of course, obviously the music catches the air, you know. Let's go. <laughs> so, so, so right now, you know, you're you're, you're um, you're you're based in in the Queen City, in the Queen City, it, baby, in, in Charlotte, <laughs> you know, in North Carolina, which you know I had the privilege to be there uh, some years ago. I haven't been there recently, but um, I I have a lot of encouragement to to uh, to get to make, there. You need to get there. I'm telling you, we're on the up and up. <laughs> hey, well, I hear a lot of great things coming out of Charlotte, and you know, of course, we got a lot of family and stuff over there as well. Yeah, so a lot know, of fried chicken. So, so we we got to oh yeah, gotta have it. <laughs> But uh, we're, we're gonna feature we're gonna feature up all night, you know, because right. you know that's uh, one of the big jams now that you got flowing, Thank and you. and uh, you know we want we want to get the, the Bermuda family uh, up on this, man, you know. Let's go. <laughs> I, I got I got, a, I got a thing, man. When I have guests in here, man, and they promoting their, their music and things like that, I like you to do the intro, you know, of a song, man. <laughs> all right, well, thank you. So my name's Jason Jet, and you're now tuned in with DJ Ratty Gun, and this song right here is called. Up all night. I'm just so excited about this club match I keep hearing about. You know, that, that coming up this weekend is going to be amazing. Uh, I we got to make sure we get you hooked up on the right team and all of that now, yeah. too, because you might, be, you might be misled. Say it. Say it. You might be misled. Say it. I keep hearing about this Somerset, though. I mean, so you, might, you might get misled now. So I, I don't know. I, I might lose some fans though if I say if I say one or the other. I don't yeah. know if I want to take a side. You, you, you might you might have to remain a neutral. <laughs> I might need to be neutral right now. I talk to maybe somebody. the next maybe next year. Yeah, after you you know <laughs> you, you know, but it's like you know I talked to some people this week, man. They said the same thing. Hi, Roddy God, I'm remaining neutral. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to make any enemies. None. <laughs> but it's you know it's all out of out of uh, love and fun, and of course you know we we uh, we we celebrate our. On the first day, like tomorrow, we celebrate our Emancipation Day. Like um, yeah. we celebrate, uh, you know, the abolishment of slavery and things like that. It's huge. And you know, a lot of the slaves celebrate it by playing a game of cricket. You know, right. and so it's important to know why we celebrate this holiday. Absolutely. And, and to keep that tradition going because, you know, it's an everyday struggle. You know, we hear the yeah. news every day. We hear what's going on with with um, you know the police and with. You know, with black folks and different things of yep. that nature. So we gotta, you know, we gotta keep progressing and yeah. and make our marks out there. You know, no question. And no if, question. if it's through the music that we make our mark, and you know, like you say, let's do it. You know, and keep mm -hmm. it going, keep a positive vibe going out there. And I, and I love your music because it's got a positive vibe, a positive flow to it. And Thank that's you. what we need. We need to bring back that R and B. We need that that soul. You know, that that soul. Yeah, we need. We it. need that. Mm -hmm. You know. 
It keeps a balance. It does. It I does. call it highway music. Like now, see that joint there? <laughs> yeah. I'm cruising down I-95, I-85. I like to have that cranking loud and doing about 110. Oh man, why can't you do that out here? I haven't seen nobody. Like You're not doing that out here. It's not happening out here. You do that back in Atlanta. Yeah, but I'm in the ATL now. Let's you know, go. Putting it down. You know. I'm telling you. Paddle to the metal. Let's go. You know, but definitely we we want to get your music circulating a lot more. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that we get it circulating around the station here as well and get it on some rotation. And definitely, you know, up all night. I'm loving that. Um, <laughs> oh, one, one of your other favorites, man. Oh, uh, man. I know uh, you could probably got a lot yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a few more. Selfish, for some reason, the, the ladies are loving Selfish right now. So well, well, we, we got to, we gotta, you know, maybe get Selfish popping, man. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. with it. I'm with it. We got to get that popping because, Let's go. you know, uh, I guess it's a message with, within itself, huh? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, man, definitely. So now, now have you uh, had a chance to have any airplay uh, in Charlotte? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely have. Um, I have a, a... I know we got a power station down there in Charlotte. We do right? Power 98, actually. I know that. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. some peeps out there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, we got No Limit Larry down there, right. Church Boy, all those guys. All right, all right. They do a good job of really, you know, making sure that the community knows our music. And, Great. You know, it's, it's awesome. It's lovely. And that's what stations should be doing, you know. Like, uh, you know, we throw out a lot of uh, Bermuda artists. Yeah. And uh, and maybe that's that's a thing we can link you up with as well. Oh, I love uh, it. You know, link you up with some of these Bermuda artists to do some collaborations. And because one of the things that's kept the Bermuda artists back over the years is is um, you know getting out there. You know what I mean? Right. And getting that exposure. And here in recent years, you know, they've been getting the exposure. A lot of the artists have been growing up down there. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I can play you some. For me to artist and you would actually say wow like you know, hey oh you know. i believe it so it's like definitely we need to get a lot of these guys in collaboration with guys like yourself yeah and and grow and and get and, and it works both ways to get you both absolutely way out there you, it, know? you know it's necessary because yeah. you know i've gotten to that point you know being so able to do everything on my own yeah you know yeah. I, i'm and that's a good thing though yeah, it is a good thing, good thing to yeah. some degree but then yeah. you know being exposed to other artists and just kind of yeah. like absorbing thinking yeah, growth, how they think growth out of it and, and, and it broadens something. your mind in so many ways because mm -hmm. you know you learn different ways of doing things different you know just you need that networking and yeah. all sorts of things you know you never know what's around the corner for you tomorrow and who you're going to meet that's going to help exactly. to enhance exactly. what you do you know what i mean i'm telling you so yeah. definitely that's why like i always have been and like to be, you know, a hand somewhere in there, somewhere in there, you know, <laughs> to help get, you know, people's music out there, you know. Yeah. And, you know, as long as it's urban music, you know, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm versatile, I love all types of music, yeah. but this is what I do every day, you know. Yeah. So we want the urban music out there, we want that, that R&B back, we want that soul, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. This is it, man. This is where it's at. <laughs> so I'll let you bring in the Selfish, you know, so, so, so the Bermuda family knows who they're listening to. Oh yeah, so once again, my name is Jason Jett, and you're now about to hear Selfish. And that's how it's popping off right there, Power 95 FM, the big station. Take it personal 
for hip hop and R&B, old school and reggae. Jason Jet in the studio with me right there. Selfish, that's what it's called. That's it. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling yeah, it. Thank you. Thank I, you. I knew it was a message in there, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> we all say there's a message in the music, you know what I mean? Yeah, tell me, every song. Yeah, man. Hey, definitely, definitely loving, loving the, the, the urban soul flavor, you know. Um, thank you. Definitely, you're gonna make your mark out there, man, you know. Hey, that's and, the goal. I encourage I encourage every radio station and every DJ to endorse what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, you know we can we can get it out there, man. We gonna get it popping for you. You know. Let's go. <laughs> and you know, and and the, the main thing I like I always like to say is is you know we we go through our struggles even in the industry you know but you have to keep encouraged and keep going on because you never know who's you know who you affect Absolutely. musically like you know uh, or who you inspire you know. You're so, right. And I have to remind myself that sometimes. Yeah. You know? sometimes I mean, there's always somebody out there looking up to you, you know, and That's saying, true. man, he can do it, I can do it, or I love his music, or, you know. Absolutely. So definitely, you know, you'll definitely, you definitely get some radio play around here. <laughs> And I would encourage, you know, I got friends at all the other stations and stuff too, and, and that's what we do over here anyway. We, a lot of us DJs and all the stations are friends and acquaintances and associates in one way or another. Yeah. So we all well, I think, share music from I time I think you're going to be having a lot of American listeners then. I'll be telling them to stream in online. Hey, well definitely, <laughs> you know, we, we're going to definitely uh, get you to hook up so you know they listen when you're chilling back in, yeah. back in, the, in the city. And, and uh, you know, get all your peeps locked in and everything, because our listenership grows every day. So yeah, you know, and a lot of people find out. Why am I just finding out about this station? <laughs> you know? The amazing, the amazing DJ Ratty Gun. You know, we just, we just, you know, we're just sitting there waiting for everybody. You know, <laughs> are we doing our thing over here? And like I said, whatever's popping over there is popping here. You know, so nice. you know, and that's because we're so close to the states that yeah. you know, I mean, if I fly, yeah. we're from New York, like you know, like an hour and something. You know? Yeah, it's perfect. You, you get up on the flight and have one cocktail. You're like, hey, folks, Rick, bring your seats up now. We're coming in. <laughs> like, I'm ready. I didn't finish my drink yet. <laughs> but definitely, hey, Jason, man, it's a real pleasure to have you like here in the studio. And, of course, you know, I wanted to keep keep the great music coming. You know, definitely going to make sure you have all the email addresses and everything. So whenever you do it, produce it and it's ready to be released, send it on. Hey, it's coming straight to you. Send it on. So we can, as soon as I get it, it goes over the air. You know, and that's how we do, man. And uh, you know, any any people you would like to thank? I mean, even oh, if they're not listening now, but any yeah. people you would like to thank, I like have. the production, your production team, your Absolutely. managers, anything like that. Uh huh. Yeah. First, I'm gonna thank my beautiful girlfriend, Deja Smith, over here. They say, they say behind every successful man is a, is a great woman. Yes, yeah, she's very strong, very very awesome. And you know, when she gets back, you know, she's gonna be critiquing this film. This, oh, this, I, this, I'm these telling pictures. you. <laughs> you, you need to sit still while you're in the studio and pay more attention to the camera. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, she will. But, but you know, like women keep us, they keep us, you know, they mm -hmm. they keep us ticking, man. And, oh, you know, yeah. and as long as we have their their encouragement and you yeah. know they're behind us, you know, you keep, just keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I, I definitely gotta say, man, huge thank you to Lord Quelo. <laughs> my brother, we actually went to uh, to high school together. That's where right. we met in, uh, right. in Charlotte. In Charlotte, so, okay. Oh, yeah. He's showing right. us an amazing time out here. And, well, you know. Well, like great. I said, man, I don't want this to be your last time over here. You, oh, know, you guys be, come on man. back and, and definitely want you to enjoy the sun and the fun and 
taking some of the ocean and oh we definitely have all, all the sights i know you got up out here i know y'all i know y'all y'all got a lot of people mad at you in charlotte right now. oh, oh yeah <laughs> my, so that, my yeah. facebook page is blowing up speaking of which let me say thank you too to to my band teaspoon okay. paco jeremy both jeremy's uh the video producers jacob warden heath sims all those guys if they're listening you know thank you i love you guys jamaica of course my parents so I know the support has been the support has been really good. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. When, when that support starts starts up good from home, 